your depression. There's dysthymia, which is more of a low-grade, long-term depression. Uh, but we'll just stick to the general topic of depression. Uh, depression, as you probably know, is characterized by sadness. Uh, oftentimes, young men will have thoughts of death or a pre preoccupation with dark, black things. They might have suicidal thinking or suicidal gestures or even attempts. Um, they can be moody. Uh, a lot of people don't know that one of the hallmark signs of depression for teenage boys is irritability. So that irritable, snappy, pins and needles kind of feeling uh, that you get from him uh, very well could be his depression. Oftentimes, uh, these young men will isolate. They'll get lost in video games, the internet, books. Um, they, it's time with friends will sometimes decrease. Uh, academically, things will start falling apart. Uh, there's a loss of interest in things, which is called anhedonia. Um, so, for example, you may have a star soccer player who's got a wall full of trophies and then all of a sudden he just completely loses interest and wants nothing to do with it. Um, a lack of open communication. Uh, he's tired. He may begin abusing drugs. He doesn't make good eye contact with you. Uh, there may be a change in appetite. He's eating a lot more or he's eating hardly anything. He may have trouble concentrating. Uh, he can't decide about things. He may feel hopeless. He may feel guilty. Uh, he may be uh, grieving the loss of someone or something. Uh, people who are depressed, it's not that they can't have a good time. In fact, if you take a depressed young man to an amusement park, take him to Disneyland for a day, and they'll be happy and smiling and laughing and running and things look great. When it comes to depression, what you're really assessing and looking at is how are things most of the time when there isn't a lot of external stimulation. Uh, if you're noticing all these symptoms most of the time with these periodic blips of happiness, then chances are uh, your son is dealing with depression. Um, regarding uh, what we do here at Telos, uh, believe it or not, much of your son's depression can be reduced or eliminated based on what he chooses to think. Um, there is a, a belief that by choosing to think, it affects how you feel. And so by teaching your son that he can take control, and he can take responsibility for his mood, he can change the distorted thought processes or the irrational beliefs that lead to depressive thoughts, depressive feelings, and depressive behaviors, then, um, then that's a, an excellent direction to go. Uh, the cardiovascular work that we do at Telos, of course, is nothing but helpful for depression. We teach him coping skills, how to reach out to others, um, all the behavioral changes. There's many studies that uh, suggest that if you simply change your behavior and you do the things that happy people do and you do it consistently, your depression will decrease. And of course, there's fantastic medications that can help with depression as well. Um, regarding your family, uh, our advice would be that you not organize your entire family system around your son's depression. Um, go on with your life and you need to attend to him, but if you, if you f completely center your family life around his depression, then sometimes that can create a nice little cocoon, a little place for him to live where his depression isn't challenged and he has no real reason to get out of that cocoon of depression. Um, and we can help you with that in family therapy if that indeed is an issue with your family. Um, please explore this uh, page, follow the links, read up on depression, ask yourself uh, what have I seen in my son, uh, report to your primary therapist, and download the depression uh, module so you can see the kinds of therapeutic tasks he'll be working on as he overcomes his mood problems. Thank you.